Good afternoon, Woody Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be checking out some of the biggest and newest features in iPad OS 16. Um, so this is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro M1. The uh, reason I mention that is because some of these features are going to be limited to the iPads with either the Pro Display, XDR, or the M1 processor. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock here real quick. Um, nothing to look at on the lock screen of iPad OS because iPad OS did not get the customizable lock screen that you get on iOS 16. So your clock format um, and your widgets are not there. Uh, you're just stuck with uh, how it is preset. Of course, you can change the wallpaper, but that's it. And it does not have any of the customizable wallpapers like uh, iOS 16 does. Um, so we're gonna hop over into settings here. And the first thing I wanna show you is in uh, the display section. Um, and that is on the M1 iPads. We have a new section in display zoom here for more space. Um, so it's basically a small, medium, and large um, resolution. If you do more space, it's better for the new multitasking and uh, stage manager. Um, so you can do all that. It's easier to see more windows at once. Um, you can do your standard or your zoom view as you could before. Um, and then also down here on the Pro Display XDR model, so that's going to be the 12.9 inch, we have reference mode. Um, so you can a, uh, do a calibration and have a reference mode for color editing um, and change the white point. Um, and all that kind of stuff right here. You can enter your own values and fine tune the calibration in there um, if you're somebody that needs to do something like that. And that feature works for anything you're doing on the iPad. You can also use it for a external monitor via sidecar um, for color correction on your Mac and stuff like that as well. Um, so those are some of the features in the settings there. Again, we did not get any home screen settings on here. Um, so there's nothing to see there. Everything else in settings is the same. Um, everything else on the home screen is the same. We do have some new collaboration features um, and some new collaboration apps that are coming later on um, in the beta process or later on this year. I don't know exactly when they're going to come out. It might be a 16.2 a kind of release. Not too sure there. Um, but with the stage manager, you turn it on here in control center and it just enables. Um, so if I open an app here, um, you can see the one I was previously using. So we have the weather widget and we have uh, YouTube right here and you can interact with these at the same time. Um, and then you can tap to make it the active window. You can also uh, resize these. Not all apps support resizing, but the iOS ones um, will resize as you can see there. Um, and so the uh, content it shows just changes based on the size and how it shows and that kind of stuff. Um, and then you can drag over here and it will put it over on the left side here, which is where all your apps go. Um, not too sure how many apps it will support. It looks like it keeps four over here and then I, you can probably do four on here. I've had it up to three. Um, so we have that if I want to use Twitter and YouTube at the same time um, or if I just want to use, oh, there's the resize for YouTube right there. Um, but it doesn't look like it, um, yeah, no, it looks like it's resizing okay. It didn't show up the first time. Uh, and then Twitter right here, again, you can resize it down there. If you want to run one app on top of another one, you just drag it over. So I can make that one smaller, but I can't change the size of this one when, when this one is the active window. Um, so that is like a limitation there. Um, and then again, if you just want to drag that one over, you can have YouTube back to your main app. You can swipe home, go back to the home screen, and then you can disable it. And the next time you open an app, it just opens in full screen uh, normally. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's a lot better, easier multitasking. Everything's right there. You can just switch between apps really quickly. Uh, have one app on top of another. Um, for if you're you know going back and forth a lot, uh, really easy, works the same way on the Mac. I'm uploading the Mac OS video actually right now, so you'll see that shortly. Um, but that is some of the main stuff in iPad OS 16. Um, again, we do lose some of the features from I iOS 16, but um, you know maybe they'll come later on, uh, but they weren't announced or anything, so who knows, but I was kind of hoping to get widgets on the iPad as well, you know, for like batteries for your AirPods and stuff like that, maybe some weather, um, that kind of stuff, change up the clock, um, but sadly we did not get that. That is iPad OS 16. That is my first look. I will be doing follow-up videos for all these later on if I find anything new. So stay tuned for that. And again, I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day.